Hi, Louisa. It's Mike Douglas here from Solomon TV. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you remember entering a little free ski dream trip contest? Yes, I remember I did it. Well, you chose a little bit of a different dream trip than most. So we're gonna be taking you on a cultural ski trip to Gulmar, Kashmir in India. Uh, wow. I mean, thank you. Welcome. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like this. I've been to a lot of random countries. This is... Um, I wanted to go here because I kind of thought it was something special. I mean, you get skiing, but you get the culture part. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, you get to see different people from what it's like in Europe or, I mean, USA or wherever. Delhi is madness. At the end of the day, you can feel it on you. You feel Delhi on you. It's super fun to come there, to see it, to get into it. But then it's pretty nice to get out of it also. I never knew the difference between Kashmir and India. It was always seemed like, oh, it's just all India, but the moment we stepped off the plane in Srinagar, it was like immediately apparent. People were different, they acted different. They talked different, they looked different, and just you're all of a sudden feeling like, no, we stepped into almost a new country. We made it to the snow, that feels really good. It's snowing. So nice. It's great. Awesome. Out of the smog and into the into the blizzard. Soon to be blizzard. We're excited. We're excited. We knew a storm was coming to Gulmarg. Little did we know that it was gonna be meter upon meter of snow. I think if we showed up 24 hours later, we wouldn't have been up in Gulmar because I haven't seen it snow straight down like that for three days straight, I think, ever in my life. It was just, it was crazy. seemed like really kind of calm and diminutive and just kind of like very shy in a certain way. And then I saw her ski. She's a charger. She's a fantastic skier, super strong. And one thing you can see instantly is she loves to ski. was just snowing and then it just kept snowing and snowing. We were like, well, it's gonna be even better tomorrow. Well, I've realized a point where there's too much snow. So when we started touring, we had instant settlements and whoops, and we knew that trying to get into any actual terrain was going to be impossible. It's touchy. 
really, really touchy. And it could be just even too deep to ski, which is a problem you don't have too often. <laughs> it's the best, worst problem ever. <laughs> it's such a tease. It's like everything you want and everything you don't want all at once. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Ready, steady, spaghetti. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little deep. <laughs> This specific trip was kind of a dream of mine as well. I mean, in the ski world, we're definitely exposed to pretty homogenous culture. So to come to somewhere like Kashmir and a place that I didn't know was a majority Muslim was, was entirely different. I was just wondering, what are they doing? I mean, what are they doing in their lives? I took a morning paddle out to this veggie market and really got to see like almost an old world style of commerce. It looked like they were bartering. I didn't see any cash being exchanged. It, you know, those kind of cultural experiences you don't get in skiing often. The biggest allure of coming to Gulmarg is this upper gondola. I guess it's the highest gondola in the world, and it's just a massive mountain with a ton of backcountry access, but, you know, it was snowing almost the entire time. When the second gondola opened, it was like, it was just so nice. We got to go up to the top, look out at the, over the Himalaya, see 8,000 meter peaks, and, you know, some the gateway to the biggest mountains in the world. as you can do it for a skier. Deep pow and, and on sunny days, like, it doesn't get much better than that. The dream trip is, it's kind of seems like a representation of yourself, like who you are gets reflected in the things that you want to do. It's fantastic that this world isn't all just the same. It's so nice to come here to see their religion, their life. I mean, it's been like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 